Okay, in this video, let's talk about the text transformation functions and how they work. So we have several of them and let's start with them. Um, something like a set variable. We'll have a text here and uh, we go into export a function. So we can to talk about ASCII uh, to binary to string and code URL, decode URL, escape, HTML, strip HTML, and escape markdown. So all these functions are pretty similar. I mean, to to what they do, they literally convert a text in from some parameter to some parameter. So most of them, you can find the examples here and it's pretty obvious, right? So you have some, um, you know, non and uh, ASCII as it calls um, text, right? So that will be converted because if you don't have proper um, encoding for your text, that will help you to make it happen. So it's pretty self-explanatory, so don't need to waste too much time, so you definitely will, will get it. So to binary to string is a little bit more interesting. So basically binary, it's again, it's a format uh, with a just, uh, you know, that uh, some functions use and, and again so if you need to convert your text to binary that happens sometime it might be uh, you know for uh, file creation where you might have some uh, specific format where you specify your uh, file type and, and you might encode it to base64 or to, to binary it's uh, relatively similar right it just converts to binary and the opposite uh, to it will be converted to a text which technically converts your like a to string that converts a text uh, the, the binary to a text so sometimes uh, in probably most common will be when you use uh, some FTP module or HTTP basically any module that downloads the files like get a file and when you download it you might get this file as a binary Okay, so I found the example for you, and this is exactly how it works. So I'm downloading the file uh, from Google Drive, and this is literally a CSV file, which is definitely a text, but the drive returns it as a binary. So what we have to do here is to convert it to string, and you actually see how the file uh, stored in the Google Drive. So we simply convert the data to string to get a text of our CSV. So let's wait for a second. And that what we got was our text from that CSV. So as you see, it converts the CSV to uh, the CSV that uh, we got the binary one to a text. Let's, um, uh, let's check the decode and encode URL. So these two functions, they are opposite. And they are do exactly the same that uh, in code URL, for example, services. So your parameters that you have in URL, if they have special characters, they had to be encoded. So for example, I have alexmail.com, right? So to put it into URL, I have to encode it uh, as a URL parameter. I have to encode it. So that should be uh, look like this, right? With a percent 40 instead of at sign. So our uh, function encode and decode URL will do the same. So I'm going to decode it back, right, to email, just like this, right, and then encode it again. So encode URL. So that's what you can use. So I decode it and encode it back. So now it will be percent forty. So as you see, uh, that how it works these two function. Uh, again, uh, they are pretty much self-explanatory, all, the, all these guys. So uh, re related to HTMLs, right? So as you see here, that converts the HTML tags into that type of thing, right? So this NLT, and this is uh, like some special format of HTML. Uh, it's kind of outdated, but some services still use it. So if you need to do it, you just use escape and the strip will simply uh, will remove the text, uh, the HTML from a text. So this is similar to what you have in your uh, 
modules. Uh, so for example, like an email, right? So in email module, you have two options on how to get your emails. I won't even download it, just show you. So the watch module returns you the two variables, your um, text content and HTML content. It, you, it literally does the same thing for you, just strip uh, the HTML text so you can text so you can use it okay so and let's go to another function which we have for the text so we spoken about the escape and a strip so we also have the markdown so markdown is a special uh, format so as you see, we have uh, that option. It's only escape actually markdown, not like a convert something to HTML or so. We have option for it in different place, but that, uh, how it works, it converts it to this uh, like old uh, HTML format. So if you will work with the markdown, you may also just find the separate module, which literally use uh, similar functions just more convenient for you so markdown to html to markdown and markdown to html that will work so as you see here and it also has some additional options so that how you may work with the markdown if needed so again markdown it's a some rich text text format that uses uh, by some services so it's actually a pretty 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 common i would say right so some text tools or even some, like, I believe Asana or Monday, uh, some project management tools. So like everywhere where you have the text, you might find uh, the implementation to Markdown. So you may just Google it, Markdown, down text format. And uh, use the parameters. So as you see the Markdown guide, like a lot of cheat sheets for it it's like a replacement for html so you may just go and play with it if needed so that's it so this was all about this uh, function that we use for this kind of conversion of our text